audience, my name is Ursula Savolko. I'm your just said part one. I'm really excited to do this and I always like to give a video introduction because I really did enjoy the face-to-face -face courses but I'm really enjoying now this new 21st century learning online and uh, I think it's kind of neat for you guys to see me and I'd love to see you guys so please post your pictures. Uh, it really makes a difference and when I read your stuff that I kind of put a face to a name so if you're not too shy please do that. But uh, this is who I am. I'm uh, going to be retiring this year. This is my 30th year of teaching and I've loved this amazing vocation that I've been called to. Um, I started off in elementary. Uh, I started teaching actually instrumental music, which I really wasn't trained to do, but you kind of do whatever you get asked to do when you first start. And then I moved to high school after two years where I stumbled into religion. Uh, so I never thought I would make a career out of this. So as you're sitting here at the beginning of your career, if you're a little nervous about teaching religion, trust me, I was there. I was really nervous to even teach grade 7 religion when I first started in elementary. But God had a plan for me, and I didn't say no, and I just kind of followed. So I really enjoyed religion, and I went ahead and got my master's in religious education because I wanted to stand in front of my students and be authentic to what I was teaching. And that just opened up so many doors that I wasn't really uh, expecting. So um, I ended up in chaplaincy. I was in uh, Father Michael Gates in Dufferin Peel for about 17 years. And in between, I did retreats, religion. I taught drama, another thing I wasn't prepared to do, but it was fun. And uh, ended up in chaplaincy. And then I got the great opportunity to be seconded to OISE for two years uh, to teach the pre-service course, which a lot of you guys took. And then I was a consultant at the board. And uh, now I'm in my last school, St. Michael's in Bolton, as chaplaincy leader. And so I just wanted to um, have you understand that uh, uh, I've got some really good experience here, but I'm also always learning. And one of the reasons why I do this course is I learn so much from you guys. So as we embark on this journey of this online course, um, what you guys post in your conversations and some of the feedback I give, I find it really enriching for my own faith life. So I'm hoping that you approach this not only as a course, but that you engage in your own faith journey, because that's what this is about. I also want to let you know that I am a chaplaincy leader, and part of what I do is work with staff. I've done this uh, course for uh, almost 20 years. I worked as a course director, instructor. I even took this course on the road. I taught this course in Italy, Greece, and Turkey. So I spent a lot of time in adult faith formation. So at any point during this course, if you feel like you have uh, some faith issues or you really want to talk about something, please don't be shy. Tap into me as a resource, as someone that you can bounce uh, some of your ideas uh, with, or just even be honest with some of the things that you're struggling with. I don't judge. Uh, I enjoy the conversations, and I enjoy helping people in their faith journey. So I have no problem connecting on the phone. I even dropped into uh, the house of one of my students because they lived in the neighborhood. So I I'd actually, you know, I uh, have no problem with that. So, um, but let's uh, talk about the course for a second. Uh, three months will go quickly. I've sent you already the uh, online course calendar. Um, hopefully it makes sense. I try to space out the due dates in a reasonable way. I just need to let you know that I'm going to be on a mission trip with my school. We're going to the Dominican Republic for one week. So from January 28th to February 4th, I will not be accessible. So hopefully before I leave, all your questions, if you have them, you can ask me. But while I'm gone for that week, if you do run into problems, I've left you contact information for Michelle Glivian. She actually created this particular part one course. So you can always tap into uh, her expertise if you cannot wait for me to come back, okay? But otherwise, everything should be pretty... Uh, outlined nicely for you. Today is the last day of Christmas. So I'm standing in front of my Christmas tree here in the chapel and the Christmas season ends with the uh, feast of uh, baptism of our Lord. So one of the things I do miss when I do faith-to-face -face, uh, classes is I do miss praying with my students. So once in a while I will send you a video. I'll send you a video with some feedback but I'll also pray with you. And one of the things I strongly recommend is that you get the Living with Christ Missal. Okay? It's put out by Novalis. I believe every Catholic educator should start their day with the gospel of the day and let that guide you into your day. Even if you're not sure what the gospel is saying at that moment, allow it to kind of unfold in your day, maybe even go back to it at the end of the day. You can get it as an app on your phone, really convenient. Everyone's got two minutes. So on this feast day, the gospel is taken from Matthew. So in the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, Amen, and peace be with you. Then Jesus came from Galilee 
to John at the Jordan to be baptized by him. John would have pre prevented him saying, I need to be baptized by you, and do you come to me? But Jesus answered him, let it be so for now, for it is proper for us in this way to fulfill all righteousness. Then John consented. And when Jesus had been baptized, just as he came up from the water, suddenly the heavens were opened to him, and he saw the Spirit of God descending like a dove and alighting on him. And a voice from heaven said, This is my Son, the Beloved, with whom I am well pleased. The Gospel of the Lord. So as we begin this course on this first day, how fitting is it is that we are reflecting on Jesus' baptism. This is a new beginning when you enter into a new experience, a new course. It is like a baptism. Something new is going to happen in you. You will not be the same person at the end of these three months. Hopefully you'll be more strongly convicted in your faith and that you will grow together as a community of teachers on this online course and just never know what's going to happen. So God bless. I will connect with you guys soon and enjoy this experience.